Uh, right, I'm Akmal and I'm Fitri and welcome to the driver's seat. Now before we start our journey to the driver's seat, we just want to tell you to just subscribe to us, you know, hit the subscribe button and you know, we, you, you're, you're going to find out what we're going to do in, in the next videos, in, in our future videos. Also, check out our website, thedriverseat.asia to learn more on what we're going to do and what we're going to talk about transport technology today. Let's go. That's a job there, well done. Uh, right. Uh. Oh. Alright, so yeah, you can see there, um, when you don't have reverse cameras or any sort of parking assist, it can be a bit difficult for you to properly park but with cars nowadays having more than just reverse cameras, it's a lot easier for you to do something that most of us don't really like to do. So yeah, um, here on our very first episode of The Driver's Seat, we're going to talk about how auto parking assist works and show you an example of how and what you can do with it. So let's check it out. Parking is no one's favourite thing to do when driving, with how big and wide cars are getting for the sake of a more rigid body. It can be almost impossible to park a modern car without minimal aid. While reverse cameras have been around for quite some time, cars made not too long ago have also been fitted with auto parking assistance. Essentially taking the load off of you when parking in spaces, you might not feel a bit confident in doing so. Using sensors, cameras and transmitters with autonomous capabilities, auto parking lets your car coordinate the safest and most efficient way to park. It even suggests suitable parking spots. Early systems from European makers have been successful with Volvo achieving auto parallel parking with one of its concept cars. As technology progressed, Toyota, Lexus, Ford, BMW and even local car makers like our Proton have adopted some form of variation of auto parking. While some can only do basic parking maneuvers, Mercedes and Tesla for example can have their cars park themselves without the driver even being in the car. Okay, so right now we're in the 2011-ish Mercedes CLA. Now this CLA is equipped with auto parking feature, autopilot or park pilot as, as what their Mercedes calls it. So this is one of the earlier um, Mercedes so to say to have this feature. So we're going to test it out, see how it works. Now this auto park feature can do parallel parking and reverse parking which is the basics of uh, auto parking today. So I'm going to find a spot where it knows where uh, it can park and we're going to test it out to see how it actually works. Okay, so now the Mercedes has found its parking spot. So it knows, it's already mapped out its uh, parking pilot. So what I do is I just press OK and it will do the rest of its job. So I'm gonna press OK right now and the car will do the rest of its job. The car will warn me, okay, I have to observe surroundings, make sure I don't kill anyone or you know, run over toddlers and whatnot. And I just have to accelerate and brake accordingly. Uh, that is the case with most parking assists is that you still have to control slightly because you know it can't do all of it by itself because you ultimately you have to take care and look around 
and control its uh, braking and uh, accelerating and so on. So yeah, um, you, I can feel the car trying to move already. So I'm just gonna let go of the brake right now. All right, now it's moving. Moving, it's reversing, it's reversing. It's now moving into a spot. Okay, it's way off actually from what I intended it to park. But yeah, right now it's just moving. It's okay. If you look at the camera right now, it's moving, it's coordinating itself. It knows exactly where it needs to move and where it needs to cut in. All right. So now, okay, you can hear that the sensor is beeping, so it's quite close to the car, right next to me. So it will stop and it will ask you to ang uh, to put it into D and so that it can move forward. Okay, right. Okay, right now, okay, it stopped. It stopped because it, it, it's, uh, it's too close to the car on my right side. So what it says right here, you can see on the screen, it says, select D. And there you go, steering is moving by itself. Now I just let go of the brake again. Okay, and then it's moving forward, it's moving forward, it's moving forward, it's moving forward. Okay, it stopped. Select R, so it can reverse fully back into the spot. There you go. All right, so you, you if you're, for first timers, you are gonna feel a bit, you know, scared because, you know, it's moving by itself, but it, it shouldn't be a problem because Systems like this are, you know, are, are already refined, and you know, in, if anything happens, it, it'll just stop by itself. So right now, yeah, parking pilot has finished. So the car is fully parked. So you don't have to do any acrobatics or anything for you to angle yourself into a parking bay and whatnot. So, um, you know, auto parking does that all for you. You might feel a bit scared, like I said, you might feel a bit scared, but when you get used to it, you you just you just feel like it's something that's normal for you. Now this is an older car, so the parking assist is not as refined but newer cars like the Proton X50, even Ford Rangers and well anything of premium-ish brand they all have much more refined systems that can easily find a parking spot and you know go in and out much easier and of course um, now cars can also reverse park like this and also parallel park provided that if, if you can detect the parallel parking and B. So yeah it's it's easy and yep that's how it works this this is the basics of it so that's it on auto parking assist our very first episode on the driver's seat if you're interested in a car with this feature whether it's used or new there's plenty of cars on the market that have them although you have to factor in that older cars may have some problems finding parking spaces you don't really have to worry about newer cars because the system is more advanced and more revised now so it's a lot easier finding parking spaces or parking spots parallel or reverse parking so yeah if you like what you see if you like our videos slam the subscribe button and accelerate to like our videos check out our website we have more to come in the next coming months thanks for watching